in an office park in Menlo Park, California, is a startup that's trying to cure AIDS, among other viral diseases, and strangely, trying to help its competitors do the same. The Emerald Cloud Lab is essentially a remote laboratory that you run via the web. I came in one morning and every instrument in the lab was running and there was no one in here. And it occurred to me that, you know, our scientists had set things up the night before or that morning before they came into work and that the entire lab was running without anyone physically in it. And that was sort of the moment for me when I realized that we have something bigger on our hands than just this therapeutic research initiative, we have a way of completely changing the research paradigm, both for academic institutions, for small biotech companies, and even for large biotech and pharmaceutical companies. Emerald Therapeutics is part of an emerging group of startups here, trying to put the lab in the cloud, essentially building software to make ordering complex tests as easy as shopping online. Starting this year, select Emerald clients will be able to use the online service to design and run experiments and track their results. The service came out of a need to run their own research on a shoestring budget. And they're very boring movements that you have to do. It's like move the needle here, push here, yeah. wait 20 minutes. Yeah. But it's all happening via computer so that you know we can be running seven or eight of these at once without any human involvement. And so at the end of the day, what that produces is very repeatable experiments because no human does any interaction that's gonna affect the results. They're all covered by computer. So even things that you wouldn't consider important, like the number of seconds between each of your motions, is completely the same. So half of the people working in this lab will be working on viral therapies and the other part will be working on experiments for clients of them, right? Yeah, it's actually, the research team is three people right now and they're running as if they're a 30-person team. So the entire rest of the company is focused on sort of building this lab machine. Anyone, anywhere can go on the web and use our software to run experiments using our instrumentation and have the data pushed back to them. My father called me in a panic in the middle of the night once and was like, oh my God, if you release all this stuff, what if someone cures HIV before you? And I said, you know, take a step back and put that into perspective. Uh, we would celebrate along with the rest of the world if anyone came with a cure to HIV. That's something money just can't buy.